First of all, I want to make it clear that I'm not speaking ill about the Squire Classic Vibe 50s Telecaster Butterscotch Blonde. I actually love this guitar. What I am doing is I'm speaking about Squire and how they now regularly are producing and selling this specific model of guitar in weights of eight and a half pounds and higher. I have been on a quest. About six months ago, I realized that somehow I no longer had even one Squire Classic Vibe 50s Telecaster in my collection. I really love this guitar and for what I do with this channel, it's a great utilitarian guitar for producing upgrade videos. I remedied this by ordering one and when it arrived, I picked it up and I noticed it was really heavy. I put it on a scale and it weighed nine pounds and three ounces. For God's sakes, that's unacceptable to me. I sold it off and started looking for another. I started looking at Sweetwater, not affiliated with Guitar Collector Guy, and they had about six other guitars on sale brand new. I really like that they'll display the photos and the weights of the guitars they have for sale. You can peruse the guitars as though you were there in a showroom. I also like to pick out the grain of the wood on a guitar if I can. The guitars displayed ranged in weight from 8 pounds 4 ounces, with two of the guitars being over 9 pounds. I looked through the reviews to see if this was something folks were complaining about. Didn't actually see any reviews or complaints in all the entries about weight of the guitar. I've owned about a dozen of the guitars, and over the years, none of them were more than 8.5 pounds. All of them were comfortable to play and carry. I don't know, maybe I was lucky and the weight issue has always been there. Maybe I'm complaining about something that has always been. I don't know. I started to look online on Reverb for both new and used versions of the guitar. I'm always surprised how many folks do not include the weight in the listing for the guitar being sold, and I have to message them and ask. I'm also surprised how many folks do not ever reply back. When I'm selling guitars, if I do not have the weight listed, I always get asked. Always. As a result, I always take a picture of the scale with the guitar sitting on it, and I make it the second photo in the photos that I upload. What is hilarious is how many folks will still ask me what the weight of the guitar is. I always think to myself that they cannot be too serious about buying the guitar if they've not looked at the photos. I've gotten to the point where I will not buy a guitar sight unseen without knowing the weight. As a result, as I looked at different guitars, I was really disappointed as I found that most were in the 8, almost 9 pound range and it seemed to be the new norm of the guitar. I expanded my search to also include loaded bodies. I had a brand new classic vibe 50s neck and I could just slap that on and it would you know basically be a new guitar for me. After about a month I was on eBay and I found a loaded new body that they advertised weighed five pounds and five ounces. This is basically with everything in it. The bridge, the pickups, pickguard, everything except for a neck. I weighed my new neck that I had and it was less than two pounds. I could not believe my luck that I would actually end up with a guitar just over seven pounds and I purchased the body immediately. I was actually really excited. I know. Let's talk about this. I know this sounds kind of crazy slash neurotic. I'm right there with you. In the conversations that I have had with myself, I have told myself repeatedly that sometimes I might be a little bit inflexibly over-focused. I'm in complete agreement with myself when I tell myself this. Here's how neurotic I have actually gotten. I had a Squire CV50s body that was really dinged up, so I wanted to try an experiment. It was kind of too heavy as well. It came in at about six and a half pounds loaded. I decided to remove all of the wood material from beneath the pickguard. I routed out the area below the pickguard, and this only reduced the weight of the guitar by about 5 ounces, so I don't know how worthwhile of an effort this really is if anybody's ever been thinking about doing this. I found that the Squire bridge plate with saddles weighs in at 3.4 ounces, and the Fender stamped version with brass saddles only weighs 2.8 ounces. I know that's not a lot of weight, but it adds up quickly. When I got the body delivered to me, it was a little more, weighing at about 5 pounds and 8 ounces, but this was still pretty cool. This still, when added to the weight of my neck, is a very manageable guitar. When I had the guitar all assembled and restrung with strings, it only weighed in at 7 pounds and 4 ounces. I was ecstatic. I've come to mostly trust Squire as a brand to make a quality instrument. There are some minor things I've grown okay to accept, like string ferrules falling out, basically things that can be easily fixed. You kind of expect that with a guitar that's, you know, basically sub $500. Unlike a human, though, guitars cannot go on a diet and lose weight. Otherwise, I have quite a few that I'd be sending off to Weight Watchers. 
This is controlled by the manufacturer when selecting the materials to build a guitar. I really wish Squire would stop producing guitars in the nine pound range of weight. To me, this is just ridiculous. It's also kind of insulting. I should not have to go on some mythical journey where I hopefully find the unicorn at the end of the rainbow just to get a guitar that weighs seven and a half pounds. 